and welcome to another video review, or oh, Halloween video review. And I've done this the last two years, so again, if you're short of the title, I am talking about Paranormal Activity 3. This is another one I got to see in the cinema. Sorry, my hair looks absolutely rubbish. Yeah, just had a shower. I just brushed it. I haven't tried it, so it looks a bit weird. Um, yeah, saw this in the cinema, and it was different. The first two we were set in like modern times. This one goes back to when Katie and her sister were very young and when everything started happening. And um, their mum and her boyfriend are together and the, he loves the kids and the kids love him. And things start happening in the house they're living in. Very little things and the boyfriend starts looking into it. But I'm like you get to see he gets upset, so he sets up his camera on a fan, which is actually quite cool for the time, to start recording these stuff. And then this stuff starts happening. The little do littlest one, I can't remember, Katie's sister, starts talking to someone, and then more things happen. And it's like, oh, some of the scares are rubbish. I will say that. That's a bit where you know something's going to happen. Like the mum hides in the closet, and you know there's a jump going to happen, and she jumps out like, Ugh. I think one of the best ones, well, there's some really good ones in this film. One of the good ones when there's an earthquake and the mum and boyfriend run to get the daughters and some dust just falls and it settles on her head and falls to the floor. It's like, oh, that's creepy. And um, another one that really sticks out in mind is the babysitter is messing about, going, whoa, making, make, trying to make you jump. It's like, oh dear. But there's a scene you see a little, little figure wearing this, like, white um, bed sheet and actually you see it behind the babysitter it's like oh something's going to happen to her and as she turns around the whole thing just drops and it's really well done love how they did that brilliant and um, yeah it gets more and more intense and things get scarier and everything gets more intense in the house and again this is going to have a lot of spoilers in it so I do apologise if you've not seen this go check it out but yeah so more and more things happen, everything escalates and gets worse and worse and worse and they're at wit's end. The family don't know what to do. So you go see Grandma. Yeah. That's where everything goes weird. So grandma's quite evil. And as at Grandma's house, there's more and more bad stuff starts happening. And like the boyfriend is trying to find, something happens, he's trying to find I think he's trying to find the wife or the kids. I can't remember now. But um, he goes into the get into the car. She sees a light, and there's all these old women practicing witchcraft and stuff. So he runs, panics as you would do. You would just run. Rescues the girls. Tries to rescue the girls. He ends up dead, and then the mum ends up dead, and he dies quite. Remarkably, he gets his back just snapped into, like, whoa, we wasn't expecting that. Yeah, that was a bit like, whoa. But, um, but, yeah, that's kind of the whole film. It's very different because it's set in, like, probably say 70s, 70s, 80s, and you get you get more of the story of, the, of Katie and her sister and what's been happening and why is this thing following these two girls. Like, in the second one, you find out that the demon's attached to... The boy, the child, Hunter. I think his name's Hunter. And um, so then it attaches to the mum. And um, they were told this, they can get rid of this spirit or demon, wherever it is. Which then goes to Katie in the first one. So they're all linked together. So it's, they're all linked together. Like there's a picture from the second one and the first one. It's taken in this film. So it's all really well linked together, which is really cool. I do like how they have worked all these together. You don't actually know why these two girls don't remember these tragic things happening is it these witchcraft people doing stuff to them but again they don't really know what's happening so but yeah absolutely fantastic again some of the jump scares are a bit, uh, a bit predictable but like the rest I absolutely love it I love this series and again I'm really proud I got well not proud I'm really glad I got to see I think up to the first four up in, up in the cinema and I think after that one, I didn't watch. Didn't watch it. No. And the the fifth one. 
yeah. I saw the trailer for it, I didn't really like it. So I didn't bother seeing that in the cinema, which I kind of regret now because, again, it is a really good, another really good series. And again, links, they all link together, which is fantastic. That's the one thing I do like is that they all are linked together. And normally you don't find out until the end of the movie how they're linked, but I oh, just love it. Um, again, this comes with an extended version. I prefer watching the extended versions from now on. Except for the first one, because the first one then makes no sense because Katie kills herself. But all the rest of them, all really cool. I do love all the Elixir and features. This is when they were doing triple play on everything. Which, uh, is it still, have I still got the digital copy? One thing, I hate not having disc art. Nothing about DVDs, I always did disc art. These don't anymore. And I still have. The digital code for I don't know if it's in day. No, around 2013. Jesus, that was a long time ago. But um, yeah, that's one thing I do miss is good disc art. But another great one in the series. Fantastic film. Really, really enjoy the Paranormal Activity series. Um, I do like a good ghost, ghost one. Um, again, that's due to because I like paranormal stuff because I've had experiences of my own which at some point I might do a video of and talk about if people are interested in that if you are let me know in the bottom and I'll, maybe for Halloween we'll do a talk about my personal experiences but that's up to you guys if you like and comment below but yeah that is Paranormal Activity 3 another great one in the series and one I thoroughly enjoy again so guys remember to hit that like button which is down there hit that subscribe button there will be a little thing popping up somewhere and there will be a box to my left or right, I can't remember where I put it, saying what YouTube thinks is good for you and the rest of the Let's Talk About Movies. But guys, I hope you enjoy that and again these aren't very long because this is my own experiences of the films and what I think of them. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, there should be another one out on this, I'm hoping it's come out on Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday, another one on Thursday. Because I kind of was unable to do a video, so I'm trying to catch up. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and remember check out my other videos. Other videos that I can't speak now. It's late on a Saturday night. I'm actually off to watch number three again. So, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all next time. Bye for now.